Okay, Shalom. I want to start giving all praises due to Yahweh. Respect and charity to all you brothers out there pushing his word with sincerity and truth. This is for the musicians and the Hebrew word, which is God's elect, Nasak. Okay, so this episode is I want to touch on the Lord's the Lord of righteousness is the branch. Okay, so the first scripture I want to start with, the name of it, the Lord of righteousness is the branch. Let's go to Zechariah 6 and 12. Zechariah 6 and 12. And speak unto him, saying, Thus speak the Lord of hosts, saying, Behold, the man whose name is the branch, and he shall go up out of of his place, and he shall build the temple of the Lord. Okay? The next scripture I want to go to, the precept is Job 8.16. Job 8. 16 and it says <clears throat> he is green before the sun and his branch shoot forth in his garden his roots are wrapped about the heat and seize the place of the stones if he destroy him from his place when it shall deny him saying I have not seen thee behold this is the joy of his way and out of the earth shall others grow behold the, the Most High will not cast away a perfect man, neither will he help the evildoers. Till he, till he fill thy mouth with laughing and thy lips with rejoicing. And the reason why I bring this out is because this branch, which is the root, which is the chief cornerstone, which is Jehoshaphat, he gives us the laughing, the joy. Okay, by following him. That's why it says that it was these men that followed the Mashiach wherever he went, meaning they was keeping the commandments. Okay? They was following after Yahweh through the book. And then it says, They that hate thee shall be clothed with shame. Because right now, a lot of people hate us. When we speak this gospel, we have a lot of trouble more so with our people which is Israel, okay? More than the people that don't know. Sometimes even the nations will come up, the heathen nations will come up and say, yeah, we know that y'all God chosen people, but our people will be the first one to rebel against us. So what does it say here? It says, they hate thee, so be clothed with shame. Yeah, you niggas is going to be clothed with shame. Coming against the followers of Mashiach, who are the magicians. But the chief magician Okay, the chief cornerstone is Mashiach Yahawasha, but he has others that he's taught as well. And if we all follow him, we are part of that fold. And later on down the line, I'm going to get into that. And it says, and the dwelling place of the wicked shall come to naught. Now, how, how is that significance of saying that this is the branch, that he is the head branch? It's because he's the only one that can bring this kingdom down. Okay, this is not a, a, a carnal thing. This is a spiritual thing. So you need a spiritual man that bring down all the other kingdoms through his son. And his son is going to sit on the right hand side of his heavenly father after he does this. But only he can do that. So that's why I said the Lord of righteousness is that branch, which is Mashiach, Yehoshaphat. And Yehoshaphat brings this. Go to Isaiah 11 and 1. Because how else would you be able to get this kind of happiness in this kingdom? This kind of happiness is not the happiness of this world. It supersedes that. It supersedes that. Isaiah 11 and 1. And it reads... And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of the roots 
That's Mashiach Yahweh That's why I gave you the precepts, Zechariah 6 and 12. And now I'm going to give you another precept, Revelations 5 and 5. Revelations 5. Revelations chapter 5, verse 5. Read that. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book. Now, what's who's going to come out of the tribe of Judah? It's the Mashiach Yahawashah. He's going to come from the tribe of Judah. Okay, read it again. And one of the elders unto me, weep not. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. Okay? Now, the precept to that, go to Revelations 19. That's why it says, the Lord of righteousness is that branch. Revelations 19. <laughs> Revelations 19, let's start at 12. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but, him, him, but he himself. And he was clothed with the vesta dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of the Most High. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth goes a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations. Now what does that mean? Read that again. Verse 14. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon the white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. These are the arm, these are the angels who are following him, behind him. And what are they coming to do? They follow him because they're waging war. So he ain't coming back with roses. He ain't coming back to have a good time with y'all. He ain't coming back to sip wine with y'all. And he ain't coming back to dine with y'all. Okay? And y'all is... The coon ass niggas that sold out and the ones that turned their back on Mashiach, which was the enemy of, of, of Yahweh Shah. So you you don't you going in the pot of the nations. You going you going you going to get that, you're gonna be you're gonna um be part of that destruction of the nations. And out of his mouth a sharp sword that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. Now, if you ruling somebody with a rod of iron, it's not nothing comfortable. That means you being a, like you ruling with force. It's gonna be vigorous. You know, you got like oh, you got some kingdom. Sometimes you could be under a rulership and it's bad, it's slavery. But it's be like, damn, you're okay. But then you could be under a tyrant, like kind of like a tyrant. Even though our savior is not a tyrant to us, but he's a tyrant to the wicked. He gonna oppress they ass, and he gonna push them to this. They they knees is gonna be swollen, and they they gonna have blisters on the bottom of their feet. They can't work, and they gonna like, we tired. And that's what that's how you that's how you rule with a, a with, with a rod of iron. So it's gonna be vigorous. And then it says, and he tread the wine press of the of the fear of the fear, fierceness and wrath of Almighty Yahweh. Okay, and it says, and he have on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. There it is. The Lord of Righteousness is the branch. Now let's go to Jeremiah 23 and 5. And the reason why this came to mind, these precepts came to mind to me, is because I was pondering, like, how would you really get true happiness and real salvation? Okay, like it's a blueprint. It's like, I like this new word, paradigm. 
Okay, um, uh, Yahweh is the paradigm for us, the model, the example for us to follow. He's that branch. Now, the leaves that's part of that branch or the stems that's part of that branch, let's say stems, okay, that's part of that branch, they're going to be doing the same thing as that branch is doing, the root of the branch, because they're all in one accord. So that's why I named the title, the Lord of Righteousness is that branch. And he has other ones that follow him wherever he goes because we're that stem that grew from that branch. And we and that one branch is one body. And that body is, is under the body of Yahweh and then his son, Yahweh Shah. Then you got Lord willing, the elect, the musicians that's playing God's instrument. That's part of that branch on one accord. And the reason why they want a chord, because when you have a, 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 a opera, all the songs and all, all the songs have to be on one accord. The drum, the violin, the piano. OK. The horn. OK, the, um, the trumpet, the horn, the trumpet. Guitar, all that have to be in tune. So those branches that stem from that branch, the main branch, they in tune with the root of that branch, which is Yahweh because they follow him down to the very core. And that's the magicians. That's the Lord's elect. Hopefully, if we part of that fold. And no man can tell you if you are part of that fold, because he is not Yahweh It's told you in a book, he was the king of kings, the Lord of lords. A nigga is not the king of kings, the Lord of Lords. Man is not the king of kings, Lord of the Lords. It's only one, which is Yahweh. But then he have examples of men that's part of that brand. They're going to be acting and accordingly just as Mashiach Yahweh. And everybody part from that branch or that tree is going to all be in one accord and they're going to all shine. And they're going to all be glowing. It's not going to be just the branch growing, glowing. And looking good and being well nervous. And the other part of the branches are looking all deteriorated. Um, deteriorated. That doesn't have, that's not how a tree works as a whole. Or a branch works as a whole. You don't ever see a tree growing. And you see one half of the tree is nourished. And all the leaves is blossoming on one half. But the other half is dying. Because if it's like that, that ain't of your house shop. Who you ignorantly call Christ. The whole tree have to shine as a whole. So the branch shining and the ones that's following after that branch sucking on the root of that branch. The stems is going to shine too. They're going to look healthy just like the branch. And that's how our body is of Yahweh is supposed to be when we teach it in the synagogue, the tabernacle. On one accord. And everything is sounding good. You're going to listen to that song, and that song is going to be jamming. It's going to be like, oh, this song is nice. It's so smooth. It's so, it's so elegant, this song. And everything is going to be playing in, in this tune on one accord. That's why it says the law of righteousness is our branch. Now, I said Jeremiah 23 and 5. Jeremiah 23 and 5. Alright, this is it. This is my last scripture. Jeremiah 23 and 5. Behold, the days come, says the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. This is another episode of Performing Arts. This is Brother Shema Basar. And this is to push this word and to elevate the, the magicians. God is the elect, which is Nasak in Hebrew. So keep pushing you magicians. Shalom.